students we are going to learn a very 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 important concept in arc of a circle today if you remember we have already done an angle called a central angle an angle whose vertex is at the center is called as a central angle now we are going to learn another angle called as inscribed angle so what's the name of the angle we are going to learn it's an inscribed angle let's understand what do you mean by an inscribed angle there are two conditions which an angle has to satisfy so that it can be called as an inscribed angle. The condition number one is the vertex of the angle should lie on the circle. Now let's understand what do you mean by this. If you look here in the figure right now I've got an angle. What's the name of this angle? It's angle A, B, C. So we got an angle A, B, C. For this angle B is the vertex and that vertex is on the circle so here the first condition is satisfied that is vertex on the circle so vertex should lie on the circle so b is lying on the circle now the condition number two condition number two says that both the arms should be secants now both the arms i mean to say now for this angle what are the two arms it is ray ba and ray bc these are the two arms if you look at this arm BA, is it intersecting the circle at two points? Yes, at point A and at point B. Same way, this ray BC, is it intersecting the circle at two points? Yes, at points B and C. So, in short, I can say that both the arms are secants. So, there are two conditions. That is vertex on the circle, both the arms are secants. Vertex on the circle, both the arms are secant. Now this angle ABC is satisfying both the conditions. So this angle ABC is called as an inscribed angle. So students, did you understand what do you mean by an inscribed angle? Condition number one, vertex on the circle, both the arms are secant. Such an angle, we call it as inscribed angle. That means right now in the figure, we have angle ABC, which is an inscribed angle. Now understand for this angle ABC, the vertex is B. Then is this B lying in that arc ABC? It's lying in that arc ABC. That means the same thing can be written in this way. That angle ABC is inscribed in arc ABC. So inscribed in ka matlab lying in. That means angle ABC is lying in which arc? It is lying in arc ABC because uska vertex is lying in arc ABC. So understand. So when I say an angle is inscribed in an arc, matlab, that angle ka vertex is lying in that particular arc. So that means when I say angle ABC is inscribed in arc ABC, matlab, angle ABC ka vertex B is lying in arc ABC. That is what you mean. So in the sums, they may say that angle ABC is an inscribed angle or they may say that angle ABC is inscribed in arc ABC. The meaning of both remains one and the same. So everybody's understood what is an inscribed angle, right? Now let's have a small test. Let's understand whether you can identify inscribed angle. Let's observe. Let's take a first figure here. Tell me, is in this figure that angle which you observe there, is that an uh, inscribed angle? Yes, no? Vertex is on the circle, right? No? no, because the second condition is not satisfied. Both downs are not secant. One arm is a secant, but the other one is not. So it's not an inscribed angle. Check here. Is this an inscribed angle? Yes, no? Both arms are secants. No, but the first condition is not satisfied because the vertex is not on the circle. Let's see the third one. Check this. Is this an inscribed angle? No. Both the conditions are not satisfied. Right? Now, to see the fourth one. Tell me, is this an inscribed angle? No. Here, one is a secant, the other one is not a secant. And in fact, the first one, the vertex is not on the circle. So, obviously, is this an inscribed angle? Yes, this is an inscribed angle because if you see there, the vertex is on the circle and both arms are secants. Beautiful. So did you all understand what do you mean by an inscribed angle, right? 